Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the relation among the three lambdas that is free space wavelength, cutoff wavelength and guide wavelength. Free space wavelength indicated by lambda naught and cutoff wavelength indicated by lambda c and guide wavelength indicated by lambda g. So first one is, let us see before going into the relation among these three parameters so let us see you what are, what are the definitions and what do you mean by exactly about uh, these three parameters first one is free space wavelength free space wavelength that is indicated by lambda naught lambda naught so this is the wavelength refers to a waveform that is traveled in the air okay so it is the wavelength of a waveform travels in air or we can say free space So this is indicated by lambda naught and the next parameter that is guide wavelength guide wavelength guide wavelength indicated by lambda g guide wavelength indicated by lambda g in the first case for the free space the wave is traveling in the air but whereas in the guide wavelength the wave travels in the wave guide okay so it is the wavelength of a wave that travels that travels in the wave guide waveguide any type of waveguide okay we have seen several types of waveguides rectangular waveguide circular waveguide oval shaped waveguide rigid waveguide and two sided rigid waveguides whatever may be the waveguide if the wave travels in the waveguide that wave is having a guide wavelength a guide wavelength that means it is in a bounded environment it is in bounded environment okay uh, suppose if you are in our case we are taking a rectangular waveguide and this rectangular waveguide if the wave travels in this rectangular waveguide then this wave is having lambda g wavelength and third parameter is cutoff wavelength cutoff wavelength we know the wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency that is c is equal to uh, f is equal to c by lambda sorry f is equal to c by lambda okay so wavelength uh, waveguide is referred to as high pass filter waveguide is referred to as high pass filter how waveguide is referred to as high pass filter waveguide referred to as a high pass filter high pass filter means what do you mean by high pass filter high pass filter is having a cutoff frequency that is efc or lower cutoff frequency it is having fl so this is the amplitude or gain and this is the frequency high pass filter has lower cutoff frequency so above this frequency all frequencies are being passing through the waveguide okay waveguide is no also known as high pass filter so above the cutoff frequency fl all the filter all the frequencies will be passing through the waveguide okay so this is cutoff frequency you can refer in our uh, 
waveguide terminology you can refer this frequency as cutoff frequency fc now this cutoff frequency fc is inversely proportional to the cutoff wavelength now in the similar way can you define what is cutoff wavelength frequency in terms of frequency we can say above frequencies above the cutoff frequency all frequencies will be passing through the waveguide and now with respect to lambda c if you talk uh, the below wavelength signals will be passing through the waveguide okay that means cutoff wavelength we can define the cutoff wavelength as lambda c it is nothing but this is the maximum wavelength maximum wavelength that with which a wave can a wave can travel in a waveguide okay whatever may be the waveguide these three definitions are common first definition of course lambda not it is a free space wavelength and the remaining two are lambda g and lambda lambda c these two are related to any type of waveguide okay that may be a rectangular waveguide circular waveguide or any type of waveguide these two definitions are valid that means all the cut all the wavelengths which are less than this cutoff frequency will be passing through the waveguide okay now let us see already we know the phase velocity let us see the relation relation among lambda c lambda g and lambda not okay now we know that the relation between phase velocity and cutoff frequency or cutoff wavelength is the phase velocity what do you mean by phase velocity phase velocity is nothing but rate of change of velocity rate of change of the velocity with which the signal travels in the waveguide rectangular waveguide okay so phase velocity we have calculated previously in the previous video i have explained about the phase velocity calculation so i am not uh, doing the same calculation again we no need to do here when we are going to calculate the relation between these three parameters we can directly take these equations so phase velocity vp is equal to c by 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square lambda naught by lambda c whole square under root and we also and we can write we can also write phase velocity vp as lambda g into f f is nothing but operating frequency that means with which the wave travels in the free space so vp phase velocity is equal to lambda g into f that means lambda g is equal to vp by f okay now substitute this vp in this equation number two so substitute equation 2 equation 1 in equation 2 equation 1 in equation 2 then lambda g is equal to vp by f vp is nothing but c c by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square divided by it is f so if you f goes in the numerator that is this like this c by f into square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square See here what is C by F? C by F is nothing but free space 
wavelength. So we can write it is lambda naught by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. This is lambda g equal to. Okay. So this is the relation among these three parameters that is lambda g is equal to lambda naught by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. Okay. So this uh, definite uh, relation is very important in coming uh, equations we will definitely use this equation. So remember this lambda g is equal to lambda naught by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. Thank you.